yes hello out there how are you doing we're going to be discussing a few things and a few factors about uh, the end time and what does it mean to us when you're talking about the end point or the end time in the biblical it will be referred to as it will be referred to as judgment in revelation or armageddon however we're going beyond the biblical and we're coming within an esoteric that's coming from within and you can read it from a third eye point eye of perspective where you see from not just the details but you're seeing it from an archetype angle all right so what do we mean by that everything has archetypes everything is set up after another thing that was previous of it all right that's how it goes but we're not coming from a linear perspective where it's from point to point to point and month to month and year to year we're coming from a circular and a rebirth and death process cycles because that's how everything moves and correlates in this earth and in this universe all right we have the zero which means infinite infinity the zero okay then we have the one which means new beginnings then we have the nine which means completion and that's how the universe is just like their original man's original people's hair spirals into that nine all right and malachi z york long live he t goes in more into that okay he goes in more into that where the nine spiral is actually a spiral that's where you get the word spiritual because it spirals like a movement of a galaxy or even what you call fuma or smoke as it moves through the air it spirals okay and that's just like the original people's hair what they're known as moorish americans all right and everyone else if it doesn't spirals it is either wavy and the lowest of that uh strand it will be called straight that would be the lowest because it's just linear where our hair or original people's hair goes upward toward the sun like plants or like leaves or like trees it goes upward it goes towards towards the sun and the straight hair is flank where it goes to the surface okay because it's not the nine energy which is completion okay and that nine was a sacred number which was in the audience or in ancient chinese uh numerology where they did not uh use the nine because it was so sacred they did not use the nine because they know that represent completion where they use the eight which represents saturn structure and it represents building blocks which is put in use into power because the four number four which is half of the eight represents the building blocks foundation and the eight which is double uh four plus four equals eight which is double that equals building block structures in power put into use for power okay that eight so that's saturn and that's where the ancient chinese is more used to where it's more implemented with structures with a system they are very systematic they modify they're not creators like that you're speaking about the modern chinese but they are or the asians the modern asians such as korean and japanese they are not uh creators or creative that much but they are great and excellent in modifying making it cheaper making it efficient and making it faster in time where it's you're using like transportation and communication it's reduced the time it's actually faster they're making it more efficient and more uh, smaller okay so that is more potent that's more modified modifying analytics analytical thinking 
right? Dealing with also your solar plexus, which is also yellow for so-called yellow race, so-called. 